Hi, <laughs> welcome to Basically Complicated. So this is a podcast that we all like to do, just sharing stories as friends, because we're we like each other. We're friends. We're friends together. Sometimes so my name is Evan. To my right is Julie. To my her right is Mark. <laughs> To his right is Beth, and we're all friends who just knew each other that just, you know, we hang out a little bit. So our topic of, just like a very small amount, I guess. Yeah, this is really it. We don't hang outside. Yeah, no, 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 um, uh, I've extended it to punishment from parents, school, police, government. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what your life was, but that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Do you want me to just like go into sure. it? Yeah. Right. Okay. Off. Yep. So I can talk about the more recent thing that happened. Yeah. Recent. It's on the table. Um, <clears throat> so I was driving to Wisconsin with my sister. We were going on vacation to the Kalahari, which is a mm. grand old oh, yeah. time. It's a big old <laughs> hotel with an indoor water park. It's a great time. So we went through... <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> I lived there and I'd never heard of it. Really? Yeah, yeah the Kalahari. It's uh, the Wisconsin Dells. It's like the Dells. Oh, yeah, the Dells. it's hey. Wisconsin Dells. Hey. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad you recognize now. Um, <laughs> you realize the era of your ways. Error. <laughs> you realize the era of your ways. <laughs> yeah, the, the era. Uh, <laughs> So we're going to the Wisconsin mm. Dells, <laughs> and on our way there, we go through Chicago, which, you know, Chicago's great, but driving through it, <laughs> it's terrible. So going through, like, Tobos and stuff like that, I uh, we were getting kind of closer to Chicago, and it was, you know, we were going a hearty 70 <laughs> miles per hour, and then we got I got pulled over right out of a toll booth because I started speeding up to 70, and a cop pulls me over, and then, like, in that moment... We had all of our stuff in the back. I think my sister's like feet was on the dashboard. Like it was just as hick yeah. as you can imagine. Um, and the cop comes up, and there's another cop that like comes on the other side too. Like we were gonna like run, <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like I was sitting there. I think I was. I don't even I, like. I think we were listening to like worship music. Yeah. Like it was like the most innocent thing. Yeah. And the cop was just like, "I need your information," mm. like very harshly. And I was like, "Okay." So, like, you give him all the stuff, and he, like, hands me the ticket. Um, he goes back for, like, a really long time. We're still waiting. The other, like, cop is on the other side with, like, her hand, like... She's just standing there? Yeah. Interesting. Watching and, like, making sure. So then we, like, wait for a really long time, and then he comes back, and he, like, hands us, like, the ticket and then paperwork on top of it and was just like, so I'm not going to arrest you today. And, like, I'm <laughs> my sister was like... What? <laughs> like in the most extreme thing, and he was like, "But you need to sign this, so I don't arrest you." And I, we were like, "What?" <laughs> so it turns out that just up in that specific area, and it even sped up, was forty miles per hour instead yeah. of seventy. So we were going thirty. So it's reckless, so they could arrest you apparently for that. So I was yeah. signing a like a bail bond essentially mm -hmm. that like if I decided to fight it, then they would arrest me. I like called a lawyer. <laughs> like it was Dang. a dramatic experience. Like yeah. I remember uh, my sister was reading through the paperwork and was like, "Do you have to pay fifteen hundred dollars?" And I was like, "What? <laughs> I can't afford that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way." Like, I started crying. <clears throat> like it was so yes. so yeah. bad, so bad. It was literally <laughs> the same thing happened to me. Cook County. Really? Like almost the yes. same exact it was, thing. I, yeah, <coughs> so, yeah. <laughs> we, we Cook County! <laughs> Cook! Yeah. The, the thing I hate more than the dentist is Cook County. So yeah. we lived in Wisconsin, and we were visiting family over 4th of July weekend. Yeah, it was a holiday weekend. We were driving back, and it was bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic because of 4th of July travel yep. and construction. So yeah. we're driving back on Sunday. It's packed for like three hours from Holland to just outside Chicago. It was just bumper to bumper. So it took mm. hours. And so I finally get outside the, out of Chicago. There's no traffic. Everyone is going 80 miles an hour. Yes. Everyone. But yes. Cook County highways are either 40 or 55 miles an hour. Mm. But everyone goes at least 70. Yes. Everyone does it. So I was doing the same thing, going the flow of traffic, driving, pass a cop, and I was like, dang. I yeah. saw him and I was like, Julie, I'm just going to start moving over because there's like four lanes. So I just started moving over, pulls up. And, and so there's just one cop and he, so I'm on the right side of the highway on the right shoulder. He goes up to Julie's window. Oh, he like pulls us over. 
Right. That's yeah. the right, right side. He like yeah. walks up to Julie's window and like bends over. He's like, license or registration, please. And I was like, and my philosophy with cops is like, yes, sir. No, sir. Please. Thank you. Yeah. I will do whatever you say. So I was like, sir, I'm so sorry. Like, I know I was speeding. You totally got me. And like, I admit to that. I apologize. That was stupid on my part. He was like, sir, I asked for your license and registration. Can you please get it for me? Yeah. Was it like, was <laughs> like dressed as intense. Yeah. It's probably <laughs> the same guy. There's one, everyone in Cook County. It must be. Yes. So give him the license and registration. <laughs> goes away. Same thing. Takes like 15, 20 minutes. <clears throat> yeah. Comes Super back. Long. Hands really me the paper. He was like, uh, you'll see right here. That's your court date. That's going to be August 11. You need to show up in court or we can issue a warrant for your arrest. Do you have any questions? Yes. And like, I'm sitting there like in tears, yeah. like trying like, to figure out. I do have questions, but I can't think of them right now. Yeah, that's exactly. Um, and I was yeah. like, I was like, so, so, I'm so, so, I was, so hold on, you can arrest me. He was like, sir, you were going, you're going 30 miles an hour over the speed limit. That's reckless endangerment. In this, in this state, that's just like having, you know, such and such amount of marijuana caught in your pocket. And I was like, oh, okay, um, <laughs> is it? <laughs> and I remember, like, I, and I remember asking. I was like, so I'm so sorry. Like, I can't think of questions right now. If I have questions, is there someone I can call? He was like, sir, if you have questions, you can ask me right here, right now, or you can hit the road. And I was like, ah. Oh. Well, hit the road. <laughs> uh, clearly, you're not helping me right now. So, same thing. I had to show up in court. I had to get a lawyer. So, I paid my lawyer, paid the court fees, and then my. When did this happen? Uh, this would a have been years 2015. Ago. You were. Was it the same at time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's a because I think moment. mine happened last year, I think. Yeah. This so, would it was have back been a when we were in Wisconsin. Back, but... Um, but my punishment <laughs> for the court was to take a driver's course, which I was like, easy peasy. It's just yeah. a test. No worries. Yeah. So they were like, it's a three-hour test. And they were like, it's going to take you three hours. And I was like, it is not going to take three hours. It's tr- it's a driver's course. Right. It's common sense. So I was I was doing admissions work at a time for university. So I was going from college fair to college fair, staying in hotels. So I was like, okay, I'll just do this college fair. It'll get done around 10 o'clock. I'll get back to my hotel. I'll work out. And then I'll start the test at 11. I'll be done by 11.30. Go to bed. No big deal. Yep. So <clears throat> I do all of that. I open up my laptop. I start taking the test. And the first question... It's like, when switching lanes, do you use a turn signal, brake signal, or hazard lights? And I was like, turn signal. Turn signal. And, like, it wouldn't click. Each question was timed so that it takes five minutes per question. And you can take one break when you start the test, and that's it. You have to finish the test in one sitting. So I started the test at, like, 11.30 or 11.45 at night and had to take it that night. Couldn't stop. So I was up till like That's three in the morning Whoa. taking this stupid test. I remember calling Julie being like, I'm really mad. I'm taking a dumb test. I don't want to talk right now. I'm going to call you tomorrow. <laughs> like, I'm so mad. Yeah. So that was my punishment for That's... reckless endangerment in Cook County. Well, and the what was so frustrating That's... is when he showed up to court, um, his, tra- his traffic lawyer, well, so when it first happened, we immediately call his brother, who had a friend who is a lawyer in Chicago. Yeah. And so they were like, oh, we understand. Like, you gotta get a lawyer. Like, you, you get a have lawyer. to. Like, it's just easier to get a lawyer. So I called this guy, got the lawyer, and I showed up and talked to him. And he was like, sorry, I have to talk to another client. He had like five people from with the him same day to like represent in court from that stretch of highway. And he was like, honestly, oh, guys. Thing. They were just shooting fish in a barrel. You're just the people that they caught, so. And you had out-of-state <clears throat> license plates. And he so. was like, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but like 85 to 90% of my business just comes yeah. from that stretch of highway. It's crazy. <laughs> and the fact that it was like, you same. just got like, you yeah. know, you were speared as a fish in a barrel. And it, because as soon as the cop left, we were like super paranoid. If we went the speed limit, we would have gotten hit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's cr- No one goes oh, 55. Yeah. honked at you. No like, one goes 55 on the highway. <clears throat> no. No one does. It's so dumb. Which is why they probably cracked down for that reason, but that's, yeah. And it was, like, and they, hefty. It was a big expense. Yeah, it was, a, it was an expensive lesson to learn. Mm. Lesson. To, sorry, I should <laughs> yeah. thank you police for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Cook gosh. County. It was, yeah. yeah. It was probably the same yeah. thing, only I just didn't have to go to court. You didn't? I did not. No. It's probably good. Because yeah, like I, I said, I s- assigned a bond oh, that sure. said, like, if I didn't. Like, if I, I but it, since I paid the ticket, I pled guilty. So yeah. that means I didn't have to go to court. Sure. But I did also take this driver's training so, thingy. Because he didn't have an option. 
Like they didn't even give him yeah. that because you had to go to court. To... No, they didn't. Yeah. So they yeah. must have been nicer to me. Maybe we were just more. And, and they might treat it differently based on like <laughs> you were from Michigan and I was from Wisconsin, so the, like the yeah. law might be different. I, mean, I, I don't know. It was stupid, I it. So, and, um, and I don't want to talk about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about something it. else. Can someone else share a punishment story, please? Yes. <laughs> okay, mine also involves cops. It's not really punishment. Pu- mm? It's not really punishment. It's not really punishment. But it is embarrassing. Um, I was 15. I was in high school and. I liked a guy from youth group, and we were hanging out. He was like, like so many I people know. in youth group. <laughs> wow. guys, I don't know what to tell you. I liked <laughs> Philip McKay. <laughs> you know their first and last names still. It's fine. He's happily married now. Anyways, oh, good for him. Good um, for Philip. <laughs> we had tender times. He was like teaching me the guitar at one point. Oh, okay. What? My. This is the guy that's older than you. Yeah, yeah, though, yeah. Right? He's older though. He's like four years older than me at this point. Yeah. And. I think that my <laughs> yeah. I think that my parents were like. So if you're 15, he's like the guy that's not in youth group anymore, but it's coming back to youth group. I think he was a senior. And, no, that doesn't make sense. Was he a leader? Sophomore. <laughs> <laughs> Leading your small group. No, he was the pastor. Actually. <laughs> now that I'm oh, <laughs> don't. <laughs> no. You guys, I'm painting myself. Actually, this it's no, just being painted all, for me. We like, all. <laughs> <laughs> we all lived a life, sweetie. Sweetie. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I liked him. It was pretty innocent. Like, it's whatever. I think my parents looked at it as like, okay, we know his parents. We know them. Like, they yeah. all hang out. It's fine. Right. He was older than me, though. Didn't have a license. So <laughs> he was, we were together. We were, like, driving home from somewhere. And in our city, there was a curfew. It was, like, after 9, I couldn't be out after 10 or something. So yep. it must have been around 10. It was, in my hometown, that was the same thing. And yep. he was speeding. And we got pulled over. And I didn't have a license. And they were like, you can't, like... You have to come with us. And I was like, what? Ooh. And so they drove me home in the cop car. And I was like, oh my gosh. But like my parents my... knew where I was. And I remember I was like, ah, like they know. Like I was just trying to be like, this isn't a thing, sir. Like you're not really catching me or like freeing me. But that's good that he does that. Um, anyway, so I remember. Thank you to our police yes. force. I remember he like dropped. You my date with Phil. That's Whatever. I went home. I it's fine. I my home. Anyways, so he like walked me to the door. I walked to the door or something. And then I remember my mom like coming and being like oh my gosh yeah thank you like talking with him he came inside at one point and they were like chatting and I'm certain that my mom was like JD's a pastor at the church on like that she they always tell officers can I give you some cookies maybe (laughs) some lemonade I was like hey mom quit flirting with the police man all right I'm kidding mom and dad Uh, anyways and I was like I'm gonna bed bye (laughs) like I just remember being like fun story I was in a cop car but yeah I was a little baby girl were your parents angry? no because they knew where I was at and they were like we knew you were with him I wasn't like breaking the rules but I don't think we all knew the curfew rule so Uh, yeah Yeah. it's a lesson you learned once they tried Trusted me. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Now that I'm telling all these stories about my childhood, I'm like, wow, I'm gonna really crack down on my children. Like, <laughs> your bedroom door is caged, and <laughs> you will get out you will, you twice will, a day. So we unlock at the promptly. <laughs> they will unlock promptly at 8 a.m. I love that they trusted me. I mean, like, obviously, yes. I made some mistakes, but I feel like I learned from Same. them. Same. We so. all did. Everyone all did. Yeah. Everyone's like, man, feel better. You can. <laughs> we all did that. We never got to ride in a cop car, but we understand. Yeah. yeah. I never got like arrested like you did, but like <laughs> Is that arrested? Like I don't think it's being arrested. No, I think it goes on your record though. It was yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually checked that. We, we did yeah. background checks for yeah. the cast. <laughs> yeah. Julie, Julie so, share your story for us, um, please. Well, I so I the <laughs> really <laughs> get trouble. Yeah, of course, I was I was the little people pleaser, didn't get in a ton of trouble. I do, though, remember I got pulled over once. I, I actually, and I really don't want to jinx it, but, like, I haven't gotten a ticket yet. Oh, nice. Ever? Uh, well, so here's my story. That's so impressive. we were living in... the roof, I'm sorry. We were lit, but I, like, commute <laughs> to and from Jackson to Ann Arbor every day, so, like, this is really, like... Please don't jinx it. But, um, because I drive a lot now. <laughs> So, yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, so I was driving from Wisconsin back to Michigan for um, my sister-in-law's bridal shower that I was helping host with my other sisters. Hmm. And um, 
So it was just me. Mark was staying in Wisconsin for the weekend and it, I left after work. And I remember this day work ran long. Like I was supposed to be able to leave early, get home in good time. But the last meeting of the day ran super long. So I left late. I hit uh, downtown traffic and um, it was just me. And I got really <clears throat> sleepy. I got really tired because it was so dark out. So I'm like blasting the music. I'm determined not to get a ticket. Mm -hmm. So I put cruise control on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm not great with directions. I rely pretty heavily on my mm -hmm. GPS. And so all of a sudden I realized, oh no, I have to take this exit. It was one of the toll roads. And so I, and again, I'm on cruise control. So I quick turn, I was already in the right lane, but I quick turn over to take the exit ramp for the toll. And I was going real fast because I had my cruise control mm -hmm. on. Right. So by the time I finally like hit the brake and I was like, oh wow, I'm going really fast. Mm -hmm. I had to slow pretty right. quickly. And there was a cop yep. sitting mm -hmm. right yep. there. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I know exactly what happened. Like, and I was being so good. I had cruise yeah. control on, but it was just bad timing. So it was, and, and so late at night, pitch blackout, I'm by myself, a young woman in the car yeah. and this male cop comes up and I'm just like, be cool, be cool. Like, it's fine. Don't start crying because I'm very emotional. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was just like, very honest. I was like, sir, I'm so sorry. This is what happened. And he's yeah. like, license registration. So I don't have anything on my record at this point. And I'm thinking like, I am done for. Like I was like, I'm and, I'm, and I was just I like, I'm by myself and I don't Such know what a I'm doing. Such a jewelry I know. And so like worst case scenario and he comes back and well, he's asking, like before he goes back to his car, he's asking and he's like looking in the car and he's like, so are you alone? And yes, <laughs> don't remind me. <laughs> right. And I'm like, are we all? Of course. I'm like sometimes way too open and I'm like, yes, I'm just trying to get home to see my family, my my sister-in-law's getting married and I'm by myself and, <laughs> and, um, and so he comes back and was very very kind and I think it was just like a written warning like it wasn't actually mm -hmm. a ticket but it, yeah. it was a written warning. a warning and so I call Mark afterward and he's like you were going how fast and you didn't get a ticket because <laughs> he would like it's the, the same thing happened to me I'm going 80 in a 55 and I get Called the court. <laughs> and she was going 75 and a 40. <laughs> hey, well, miss, why don't you slow down next time? But Cook County. Uh, but Cook so County. I was I was just very appreciative, very thankful. Um, yeah. But that moment of terror, like, I'm by myself. I yeah. don't know what, what I'm do? doing. <laughs> and, like, license registration. I'm, I'm like, I'm pretty jump. sure it's in here. Yeah. I've never had to get it before. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yep. Yep. yeah. So that was yep. that was like my car cop experience. Yeah, my uh, my worst <laughs> discipline experiences come from my dad, because my yeah. dad's philosophy was always like I never got sent to my room, I never got grounded, I never got like soap in the mouth. It was just like you done something, you get spanked. That's it. Like mm. that's the only form of punishment in this household. And my dad would get like creative with the spanking so that he would incorporate. <laughs> The crime into the spanking. So he, would he spank you with the object? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Seriously. So like, the, the multiple examples. Like I remember I had this plastic sword and I wanted to pretend to be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I like smacked my sister in the face. And he was like, Mark, to the bathroom. So I like, went to the bathroom and he was like, bring your sword. <laughs> and, I <was> like, <laughs> and I was like, what? And I went to the bathroom, brought the sword and he was like... Put your hands on the washer. Like we put our hands on the washer and dryer, and spiked with the sword. Same thing. Like me and my brother were fighting over Hot Wheels. Okay, like wait. Yeah. Before the Hot Wheels. Bring your sword. <laughs> Which I'm Bring your sword. Yeah. So like, how, what was the technique? Like you were, you yeah. were. You, yeah, were so you always had, you always had hands. You always had your hands out. So pants on or off? Pants on. Okay. Usually. <laughs> Unless, Unless you were caught really with them bad. off. Yeah, and then you get spanked with the pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Load so, them up with oranges and... <laughs> No so, when, okay, unless unless it was really bad. Unless you get really bad. So the worse the crime, the worse the spanking. So we'll escalate to that point. <laughs> so me and my brother were fighting over Hot Wheels. And so he took the Hot Wheels track, which is like its own whip in and of itself. It's just like a small piece of plastic with two barbs on the end. 
And he was like, go to the bathroom and bring the Hot Wheels tracks. <laughs> so we brought him with Hot Wheels tracks. And I got spanked with Hot Wheels tracks, which again are like small whips with barbs. So we got like flogged. <laughs> and he had like perfect, pull out. perfect technique because he had eight kids to practice with. <laughs> so like by the time he got to me, the fourth kid, it was like he just knew where to hit, like the lower inner thigh. He would just like, find a way Not to on connect. The butt? That's not where it hurts. It's not as painful because oh, you got a lot of thigh, fat there. It hurts on the thigh. Oh, yeah. Um, there was one point where he just, like, I think yeah. he just got bored. So he just, like, invent ways to spank us because, like, me and my brother were fighting over something. And he was like, boys, go to your bedroom. I was like, we went to the bedroom. He was like, put your hands on the bed. So we, like, it's me and my Gosh. brother sitting next to each other. <laughs> so I am my brother and Julie is me. So we're standing next to each other. And he, like, he takes off his belt and he, like, hits us both at the same time. <laughs> But, like, my brother takes the brunt of the spanking. And so I was just like, ow. Ow. <laughs> Ooh, this hurts. He got oh, bored. Oh, don't do it. Stop. So, yeah, I mean, I'm like, imagining there's ways. four hints for each. But I, I do have to clarify. He wouldn't punish you without reason. No, we were like, being... Oh, well, no. It wasn't yeah, like we were fighting and just, doing things like... I smacked my sister in the face with a sword. So I deserve I to be spanked. To um, but, yeah, like, I remember the last time I got spanked. So there's two more spanking mm-hmm. stories. The last time I got spanked was the worst. Because I was old enough to know, like, don't... I think I was yelling at my mom. And he was like, don't do that. So I think I was like 12 or 13. Old. I was like old, old, like an old kid. And he was like, Mark, go to your room. And he was like, lay down on the bed. <laughs> the way you I, tell these stories. I had to, he, like the, literally the way he explained it, and he was like, be a starfish. <laughs> so I, had to, I had to like put did, my hands Did out. he tie you? <laughs> just like strapped you yeah. in with a belt he's a <laughs> so I had to like spread spread my legs and my <laughs> arms out to like grab the corners of the bed and he just like got like a wind up like on hand yeah that was just a hand but that was the worst spanking I remember because again I think I was like 13 and he's like and you're surely you're old enough to know and you're a big boy yeah <laughs> especially with your dad like saying like be a starfish be like a star i don't know what I would have, how i would have yeah. responded it, it makes me laugh that's now but at the moment it was like this is terrifying. that's the most horrifying thing that he could say oh yeah <laughs> be a starfish <laughs> i will that um oh, man. but i think one you of don't the, expect when yeah. you get punished one of the second to last times i got spanked uh, again, I think I was like yelling at my mom or something. So he was like, "Mark, go to the garage." I think he just like switched up the location just again for visual interest. So went out to the garage and he was like, "Put your hands on the van." So I put my hands on the van and I'm just waiting and I'm like, I'm shaking. <laughs> and my, I'm like, I'm starting to tremble and I like he didn't hit me and I was like, I like open my eyes eventually and I was like, "Open your eyes." <laughs> um, and then he's he like, like, "I'm gonna spare you," but so he starts hitting the van with his belt. Like, uh, I'm like, I have my hands on, and he's like smacking the van next to me, and I was like, Is he like, Wind- is this a lesson up? in salvation? Is that what yes. this is? Wow. I knew it. So, wow. he the, the van, van is Jesus. <laughs> Literally, that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> so he like, the van, and then he looks at me, he like turns to me, and he's like, Mark, that van was Jesus for you. <laughs> And he was like, I want you to stay here. I want you to stay here and think about that. And I remember being like, how long do I have to stay here and think about this before he knows that I've internalized this lesson? Wow. What were you wow. feeling in that moment? Like, pure just shame and... No. <laughs> Confusion. Like, my dad's lost it. Like, he's gotten to the point where he's so mad. That van was just <laughs> for you. <laughs> And I never looked at that man the same way again. I got saved that day. So when they sold it, I got saved that day. Let's say when they sold it, were you like weeping? (laughs) Were you gnashing of teeth? (laughs) Tearing sack off. Crucify him! Right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, So spanking in the Bronco household. Mm. Um. I just I can't get over yeah, the band being Jesus. Jesus sure. like, Can that I be a feel like t-shirt? I got disciplined in that Can moment. We find... <laughs> I know. I know. Like... Can we make a t-shirt of a van and yes. it was like <laughs> this is Jesus for you? I love that. I love I just it. Just get like a belt line. Next yeah. Yeah. Yes, maybe with like a like a slight scratch mark on the yeah. van. There's a shadow of my dad walking away. <laughs> yes, your hands. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm gonna tell that story. Like that's so good. That's a that's, party story. That's a, oh, that's Hi, totally friend. a party story. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so spankings in the Bronco household. It was a combination of both my mother and my father. Mm. But when it was like, like one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no they would not no it wasn't simultaneous they like if we had to wait until my dad came home because my dad was stronger Mm -hmm. like that was like the worst and my mother would be like yeah that's terrifying wait until your father that's the worst um and she used to do that a lot. But, like, we did all the, like, very typical things that you, like, hear the stories. Like, we, I remember my brother and I did the multiple pants. Oh, yeah. We tried. Multiple <laughs> pairs of underwear. Oh, yeah. Socks. And they just would, you can feel. <laughs> <laughs> and then they would be like, take off the pants. <laughs> so then you, and then we would. Yeah, have, that makes it worse. Then we get naked spanking. But the oh. one punishment that I remember that was worse than any of this, and I got a lot of spankings growing up. And yeah. they would usually be bare hand. My mom did have a special aerodynamic paddle. Yeah, we had with, a paddle too. With holes in it. Yeah, so no. it could fly through the air. And there would be like marks. <laughs> Where did they see. buy these paddles? I cut you off. Sorry. I think they were, it was melted actually. Like I think somehow there's, it was a very like aerodynamic. Like custom made it. <laughs> <laughs> Branded like it. We've got a boy that has a problem. We, <laughs> and we got a special tool <laughs> with an aerodynamic paddle. Yeah, and I remember she would use that when she was really mad, and then yeah. my dad would also use any sort of wooden spoon. Yeah. Um, but the punishment was not a spanking that I remember the most. It was I opened a Christmas present early. Like it was wrapped, hidden in the closet, and I found it. <laughs> and I knew what it was. It was a video game. Mm-hmm. It was Yoshi's Island, <laughs> which sounds dumb because it was. That was my favorite game. It was a good. The game is good, no, but you. the fact that I was like, it was yeah. Sure, anyway, sure, 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 sure. so I opened this game. And I like snuck all, like the TV in the, the system into my sister's room and was playing it for like an hour. Obviously, my parents came home or like walked in the living room and noticed the TV was gone. <laughs> <laughs> and like I remember my mother like hearing our stairs were particularly loud mm-hmm. for some, and they would creak the whole way. Like you can hear someone yeah. going up the stairs in the whole house. And so I just remember the slow step. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she was coming for me <laughs> and I like tried to shut everything off and like cover it up like an idiot and then my mother like found it and then I remember this punishment she was like we were going to have a family movie night tonight and you have to stay in your room Ooh. and our living room was right below like the stairs so I could hear it and I, and I was the youngest and I needed attention <laughs> desperately and so I remember just being like I was fine and then the movie started and like I remember like we all ate dinner and then she was like and go to your room and so like I went upstairs and then everyone went in the living room and they all watched a movie and I just remember screaming <laughs> I was sobbing and like there were in the the stair railing of like the 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 banisters yeah. of the stairway like there was there was like a small opening and I like mm-hmm. snuck down to try and watch and I remember my mother was like get up there. <laughs> I was like ah! <laughs> like ran up there and was like laying on my bed like not like I think I threw the bedding on the floor and was throwing a full on tantrum and was just like sobbing in the mattress. <laughs> like I was crying wow. so that, hard. That and then I worked. didn't get the and I still got the game for Christmas. <laughs> she wrapped it back up and then I had to wait until Aww. then. Yeah. Wow. That <laughs> yeah. punishment worked. Yeah, it worked yeah. real good. I yeah. never opened a present again before I was yeah. supposed to. So they didn't even spank you. They just told you you couldn't no. come to movie night. I couldn't Got come it. to the family movie night yeah. where everyone no. was and it looked like they, so much yeah, fun. They knew you they it was it smart. Because yeah. I think yeah. if they did that now, I'd be like, why? <laughs> I want to watch a movie. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so sad to lose, miss out on the people. Right. Yeah. 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 I remember that very distinctly. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Having to put the TV back. <laughs> I love that you were like, they won't know. <laughs> Why would they this find out? this out? It's and my this is sister's <laughs> room. So. Right, <laughs> they right. Did it. <laughs> right. Oh, it's gosh. totally fine. And like you know, it was the '90s when like you only had one TV. Oh, yeah. in the house. Right. <laughs> there was no TV other alternative. Like Three hundred pounds. Yeah. yeah, I got it up there, man. Yeah. <laughs> you were determined. I, I, I played that. Yoshi's World needed saving. No, you sure did. Yoshi's Island needed saving. Get it? I didn't get the game for Christmas. Oh, oh God. that's good stuff. Yeah. Wow. And I think with that, <laughs> it's a good, it's a good <laughs> note to end on. That's your story. Thank you so much for joining us today. Join us next time, Wait, and you me. can be punished too. Oh. Is this podcast your punishment? <laughs> or is it ours? Or is it your van?
Get it? Jesus. 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 Okay, I should have delivered it better. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye.